Now, what about the duties incumbent upon the commercial man who has a lot of regis but very little of sattva and tamas also? That is called the composition of personality of a businessman. He works hard day and night, as hard as sometimes even more than the politician or the leaders. He organizes. He purchases and sells, gathers profit, all for himself. Others are benefited only by product. When he is making millions, a few thousands are given out for workers who are working. But the lion's share is for himself. And what does he want it for? Not with any high ideal to serve the society, etc. He has got tamas plenty. So he wants a house bigger than others, a car longer than the others, wife dressed up better. What is that? Fur coat. Diamond necklace. <laughs> Every vacation to Europe. Come back. Throw parties. Silver, pure silver, what is it? Uh, crockery and cutlery. Big table for 24 or 30 people to sit at one the same time and have dinner. <laughs> Champagne. And the man, the guests, when they come in, they say, <gasps> Italian marble. <laughs> How many bedrooms? No, 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 it's a small little thing, sir. It's not like you. It's only 27 bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a hostel or...? No, 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 we all live together. It's a, it's a big family, therefore. And you take you to the drawing room. Uh, it's all Italian furniture pieces. <laughs> they dare not even sit on it. And another, and this is our children, you know, they do uh, television room, television room. Eh? But these furnitures are beautiful. <laughs> that is Louis the <laughs> Fourteenth. <laughs> All this money that IRS doesn't know that he ever made. It. <laughs> because if you give the share of the IRS, you can't have these things. And the other day, you know, when we were going in our yacht. You have got a yacht? <laughs> yes. 124 feet. <laughs> For me and my wife only. Yeah. And they will tell you. They, you need not say. You only just sit down and watch. <laughs> and it would not have been so bad. But at $30,000, I purchased a horse also. It is a swift, swift foot. This is his father. And golden wing is his mother. You see, naturally. <laughs> Therefore, I purchased this horse. And uh, what do you give the name? A speed of speed. <laughs> this is Swabhavajam. It is not their fault. It is not that they have learned it from somebody. It is natural for commercial people to talk like that. It's only when you go to those parties, then only you'll understand the way they talk. Uh, <coughs> their job is Rishi, Gauraksha, Vanijya. These are the main Rishi, agriculture. Gauraksha, uh, cattle rearing, cows or horses or whatever it is, cattle or anything. Vanijyam, transaction or com commercial trade. Yes, that is better. Vaishya karma swabhavyam. These are all Vaishya's karma is swabhavyam, is natural. And if you have got friends of that temperament, wherever they go, they will suggest you purchase this. 
<laughs> I tell you, by December, the price is going up. If I had money, I would have purchased. He has got an eye for profit. His main conversation is what to purchase and what to sell and when and what. How? Investments. Vanitya. Parijaryatmakam karma. All activities contributing to parijarya, service. Labor. Shudra syabhi swabhavayam. It's natural for the Shudra. Serving others. And the Vaishya, always business. These are always natural inclinations, I mean duties, according to their own inclinations, 